my god! Something just swirled its way up here. This is actually it attaching to you. I'm the one dying over here. My head hurts, my jaw hurts, my ribs hurt. It feels like a fucking laser is being shot through my head. It sounded like a woman said something right here. Oh, my heart is racing. That doesn't fucking happen. It sounded like a serpent. She just went It was a fucking madhouse. Swarms of people coming here dying. And I saw a fucking like lightning bolt out of the light. Both of those unscrewed. And you say, ha ha. 100% convinced me that you're here and you're making yourself very well known. Who's doing this? Is this just fun for you? Is this place just pure evil? Is this vengeance? Oh, evil bullets. Hell of a This is insane. Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. There's Corey. Corey. Kill. Kill. Corey. Uh, my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna die. This is not so good. Well, when we leave here, you actually have to say you don't have permission to follow me. For the first time ever. Yeah. How many years investigating? I will listen to you and I will say it. What's up everyone? And welcome back to or welcome to the Overnight channel. This is our team tonight. It's Corey and I. Just us two. No one else besides the spirits in this hospital. Six floors, Nazareth Hospital and Mineral Wells, and they somehow gave me the keys. <laughs> I have the keys to every single door. There's no other camera guys. No. There's no security. No. There's no one at all. No. So every noise that we hear, every little footstep, every little creak, we know it's not one of us. Is it normal for me to be scared? Yeah. You know? Yeah, but this is different. This, no, that's now, what I'm saying. Because now I'm also scared. Yeah. And normally you're the only one scared and then <laughs> And then, and then I'm like, it's fine. And then you're like, okay, I guess it's fine. But the great part is, because of the body cameras, we can leave each other whenever we want. Like, I could just run away. I could just leave you at any point in time. I could just turn off the light and just run away and leave you in the dark. And I don't have to worry about you not getting footage because you'll have a camera on you the whole time. You don't have so, to so do any, that, At any no. point in time, I'm gonna go there and then just run. And just run as fast <laughs> as I possibly can and leave him wherever I so choose. That's probably gonna happen. Lost the key, watch like during the background, you just like see like a little boy. <laughs> Just like standing back there. Stop, bro. Don't say that, dog. All right. No, this is scary, bro. This is literally just me and you. And the investigation shall begin. Dude. Legitimately, guys. Six stories, five above ground, one below ground. And then the crematorium is right here around the corner. I've been trying to get into this town and investigate all the buildings here. Bird. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's not what the it says. Corey. Corey. Stop. We're not gonna focus on that. <laughs> Look, it says KL kill. Kill. Kill Corey. Shut up. Look at that. It says <laughs> kill up. Corey. Oh yeah, there's there's one other thing that I forgot to mention. What? Uh, I was given permission to use a drill tonight. There's some areas that have been boarded up for years that uh, I'm allowed to drill my way into. What? Not only are they lock shut, they're actually drilled shut. And so I brought a drill so we can get in there tonight. Wait, so people haven't even been inside no. these buildings? And no, pre-COVID. What if there's people living in them? You want us to split up tonight. Uh-huh. And there could be people yep. living in these buildings that uh -huh. want to murder us. Yep. Give me... Oh my God, bro. Dude, there's a tree growing on the roof of it. Is that a bad sign? What? Does that mean anything? It means there's life. See? <laughs> there's life up there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not what we want. Yeah, come on. No, that is not what we want. You know if the cops were to show up tonight, they'd be like, oh wait, there's already two of them here. <laughs> They're just gonna look at us and be like, oh, speaking of cops. <laughs> yeah. Is that real? Nothing that's to see. So funny. Officer Jenkins, I got it under control. <laughs> you imagine you call in a spirit crime. Code 666, we got a little boy screaming for help on the ovulus. I need backup. Dude, this is scary. <laughs> Dude. Look at, I, I just want to back up so people can understand. Oh my god. We have this whole thing to ourselves. Oh my god. Can we make a rule? Okay. Once this is closed and we lock the door, we don't leave till we have investigated every single floor on the building. 
All six floors. All six. Every single one, including the morgue below us mm -hmm. and the priest quarters on the top of the building. Oh, God, dude. You know what? Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm deal, down. Deal, deal. All right. Deal? All right, deal. 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 <laughs> okay, you look creepy. Okay, <laughs> don't Elton. No, 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 stop. There is no doing this when it's just me and you, bro. I am not going to know if you're possessed or not. Stop. Dog. <laughs> Dog, stop. No, I, I no. Get the f out of you now. No. What the f Did you just see that? Did you just, I, dude, I hope I got that on camera. Bro, this cap, this, can you see it? Yeah. That cap, just what, fell off of this? How did that even happen? Oh yeah, look, there was one up here, already. <laughs> what? Maybe they liked you acting possessed? We're not gonna talk about that cap, know. just, Flying? It's no? cool. It's cool? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're breaking the rule. Corey's leaving because he left the SLS on the truck where it can be stolen. Yes, this isn't my excuse to run outside and run away and not have to be stuck in here with possessed Elton. Stop, just unlock the door. You're gonna look back in. I'm just gonna be in the fing corner upside down. Just <laughs> Start, bro. I don't know. Just a mask. Just a mask that a murderer would wear. Next to gunch. Oh, there's a bullet. Bullets. Oh, these are bullets. Hell of bullets. Oh, dude. Oh, these are actually bullets. So they were so the, so the casings are here. So they were just shooting in this. Oh yeah, look, they shot through the door too. Why? And hey, if you're gonna get shot, the best place is the hospital, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, you're right. That's a great point. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you in your vest. Thanks. <laughs> My uncle made it. <laughs> uh, snap your body camera on. They're here. Let's use them. You mean in case you get shot? You know, if you get shot, let's get the shot. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we get the morgue over with? Let's do the morgue. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Tonight's investigation may be the most remarkable one we have ever had. Not only were we physically attacked, but the attacks were confirmed by the entity here, bragging about what they were capable of, and the most clear, audible evidence we have ever captured while on the roof. We are only the second team to investigate here with full access, and I fear the ghosts here are only starting to seek their vengeance. Yet the hauntings of this particular building are deeply embedded within the history of the town itself, and what caused hundreds of thousands the people to travel here, mainly those that were sick, dying, and searching for any glimmer of hope to survive. In 1880, the Lynch family drilled a well, and they claimed that the water had medicinal powers, which led many people to move to the town, establishing the name of Mineral Wells in 1877. One story in particular was in regards to a woman that began to regain her sanity from regularly drinking the miraculous water, hence the name Crazy Water was born. It didn't take long for word to get out that the waters had healing powers, and by the early 1900s, Mineral Wells was on its way to becoming a national health resort, a time when they didn't have modern medicines or treatments. This was their best chance and hope. Traveling from all over the country, people were carried into town, pushed in with a wheelchair, or walked in with a cane. Whatever it took, they needed to get there, and many never made it back out of the town alive. During the 1920s and 30s, Mineral Wells was attracting over 100,000 people a year, and at the end of the 1940s, the days of the mineral waters were numbered. The FDA was established in the United States, and it was now a federal offense to make any claims of the medicinal powers of the water. By the 1980s, many of the old hotels and boarding houses had either burned down, fallen down, or simply torn down. Yet still standing are the Norwood Hospital, Nazareth Hospital, Crazy Water Hotel, and Baker Hotel, all within 
a half mile of each other. After the town's original sanatorium burned down in 1927, the new 46 room mineral well sanatorium was built. And four years later, the Holy Sisters of Nazareth purchased a building, turning it into a hospital. The first floor, the basement, was a sanatorium, the tuberculosis ward, polio ward, the emergency room, and the morgue. Many of the patients diagnosed with mental illness also lived there. The second floor was the entrance and lobby. It also had the administration, procedure, and recovery rooms. The third floor contained the chapel, dining hall, and doctor's offices. The fourth floor housed the labor, delivery, and nursery rooms. The fifth had the surgical, ICU, and x-ray. And the sixth floor was the nun's quarters, with the top floor reserved as the priest's quarters. In order to cut costs, linens were said to have been used three times longer than they should have, along with other equipment. And by 1940, the Nazareth now had a need for its own crematorium, with a powerhouse and a resident engineer to keep it going 24-7 the day it was built until 1956. The sanatorium was suspiciously in the basement, directly next to the morgue, but 100 feet away from the crematorium. All other sanatoriums in the country were placed in sections with the absolute most sunlight. Waverly Hills is a prime example. And in this basement, it is rumored that they would frequently perform questionable medical procedures, leading to the deaths of patients. Although the experimental treatment and death records are nowhere to be found, Mineral Wells was nestled directly between the infamous Texas State Insane Asylum in Austin, Texas, and the Northwest Texas Insane Asylum, both of which were known for lobotomies, electroshock, and hydroshock therapy, with all other experimental treatments. In a city built upon any ounce of hope to regain their health, there is no limit to what people are willing to endure or volunteer for to have the slightest chance of living. Roughly 25 years after opening, the hospital closed its doors, now sitting abandoned. The total amount of patients who passed away at Nazareth are unknown, and how many passed away within this half mile area is an even greater unknown number. And tonight, we will begin the search to see how many of those who passed away here still haunt the town. The Nazareth has countless paranormal occurrences over the last century. From doors and wheelchairs moving on their own, rapid drops in temperature, hearing cries of pain, lights being turned on and off in a building no longer with power. Shadow figures are seen playing all throughout the building. A young girl spirit is known to play with the remaining toys, and even a ghost named Vern, known for tripping people on the stairs, and a lady in blue is frequently encountered near the nun's quarters, while the elevator shaft is haunted by a man that was crushed within its doors. Yet incredibly unique experiences have been documented here as well, such as the sudden smell of blood and incredibly loud hissing noises. This location greatly surpassed any expectations we had for it, leading it to be, in my opinion, the most remarkable investigation we have had yet, which is terrifying, as I truly believe we have barely scratched the surface of what entities still reside here below. Dude, this is crazy. It's so crazy that I can literally just like leave you. You know what I mean? No. Like I can literally just like, hey, I can literally just. That's why I had to turn the body camera on. <laughs> I can just leave you at any point in time, dude. Dude, I walk so fast. <laughs> dude, we've only seen floors. Two out of six. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. The original shelving. You getting a weird feeling right now or no? It's getting heavier for sure. I don't know. I definitely feel like I just felt like a huge energy change. My camera will not focus on you, no matter what I do. Really? This hasn't happened in years. No matter what I do. I'm literally tapping on you as much as I can. And it will Nothing. not focus. Four, number three. Whoa. Whoa. This is completely different. That's cool. When you're looking at it from the outside, I think the floors get more narrow as you go to the top. It gets skinnier? Yeah, which makes me think like that like the, the roof, the top floor might be the most active area. Because Oh, because it's so It's like it's completely different spirits and people say that they see the spirits relevant to what floor no. they were on. 
So, so we literally have something different on every floor. Every single floor. Okay. It's like it's like it's like the six layers of hell. Jesus. What? Watch it just be Jesus. the Christmas tree and I was like okay this is gonna be Jesus and then sure enough I think at one point they had 9,000 patients in rooms 9,000 people came here because they thought that the they, water cured them yeah they were uh, like literally on their deathbed like incurable diseases didn't know what else to do didn't know where else to go and they oh. came here the hearing about this miracle water the crazy water to survive and they had to turn nearly every single building at least some part of it into a hospital quarters. Floor number four. You check this side, I'll check this side. Look how brave Corey's getting. All I had to do was give him a body cam, huh? <laughs> well, it's because I feel like they're with me. You know, I don't feel alone. Yeah. This is nuts. Investigating with a big group just feels so much safer. It was just seriously like if one of us starts acting weird or you know, starts getting possessed in a way. It's literally free for all for the other guy. Oh, this door's open. Oh, whoa. See, it's getting smaller. You're right. It's far more narrow now. This is safe, can't really see at all. This is fine. How do you think the spirits in this town feel? Do you, do you feel like, oh man. Not only I wonder if not only one are some of them trapped here, but I wonder how many of them choose to stay here because they felt mm. betrayed. Mm. Because there was never any proven merit to the miracle water. Yeah. Like they said there was lithium in it yeah. and another chemical and like, yes, it kind of maybe helps out with certain things, but it was never ever proven. So it really does make me wonder if some of the spirits that are here yeah. in this hospital or in this town are honestly spiteful, hateful. I would believe that to either make other people feel what they felt or to kind of, you know, be an asshole. Yeah. Like I fucking came here to get my life saved and I died. So now I'm gonna make anyone that come here a living hell. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, this is so small. Yeah, it's getting more and more narrow. Oh wait, so there's more than six floors. Yeah, seven. Oh, there's seven floors. Jesus. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, I don't like this floor at all. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. I, don't, I don't like this one at all. This feels bad. <laughs> Dude, look at the goosebumps on my arms. Holy sh**. Wait, hold on. Can you see this right now? Yeah, holy sh**. Like there's obviously an energy in here that we both don't like. Yeah. And that's rare for you to get that feeling. Okay. We've seen the whole building. There's seven floors now. Yeah. What's the game plan? Where do you want to start? Should we start at the morgue? Should we make our way again from the bottom to the top? I mean, if my theory is correct, there's anyone up here. Yeah. They're right here. I mean, no. I could even put a cap all out right now real quick and ask a quick question. True, we're here. We can start. All right, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to flip my body camera on then. All right, say hello. You got Obelus? Yeah, I'm turning it on. All right. Obelus Bitch. On. Hold on. Bitch. Hold on. I thought. Out? Out. That was so weird. From right there, and I guess I'll see it from right there in the door frame. I thought I just heard like a. Mm, like a. Mm, like, you know what I mean? Like an old man grunting, like. Mm, and then immediately after, out. Do you, like right here, right here, I just heard. Mm. Okay, let's do it. Can I put it by the door? 
Yeah, that's where you heard it? Yeah. Vinegar. Here's the fun part about where it is. Blocking out the exit. Hello. To all of the spirits in this building, to all of the souls, the entities. My name's Corey. I mean no harm. I would just like to talk with you tonight. And if you would like to answer some questions, you can by putting your energy into the devices that we are setting up. There's someone watching over this room right now. Can you step to the door? Into the room. There's a box on the floor that will not harm you. But your energy, your presence will be detected by that box. And we will know that you're there and that you want us to leave or talk. What does vinegar mean? Is that what they're having you drink? They told you with miracle water? They start giving you vinegar? Strength. Is that what they were doing? They were tricking you, telling you to keep drinking more and more to give you strength? You said it tasted like vinegar? That would make sense. The more you drink, the better you feel. The more you drink, the more you buy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Right? The yeah. more you drink, the more you buy. Keep drinking, keep drinking. You get stronger, you get stronger. Keep drinking, keep buying, keep buying, keep drinking. Wow. And I'm sure it tasted like metal. Uh-huh. Dude, that's a real... Okay. Who's telling us this, though? Why are you telling us this? So, wait, is your theory right now you think that they were making them possibly just drink vinegar here, telling them that that was the holy water that could possibly fix them? I, I think they really were giving them water. From okay. Really giving them water from the wells. Yeah. But it probably didn't taste very great yeah so maybe to them it tasted like vinegar like vinegar but i want to know why they're telling like who's talking to us is it be is it because they feel terrible about what they did and they're admitting it or were they one of the victims like exactly. we don't know exactly but on this floor you would just sacrifice 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 so again which who is it were they the one being sacrificed What the fuck was that? I know you just heard that. That was... What the fuck was that? I know you just heard that.
That's what I heard right there. I heard it right there. Wrong. 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 I said I heard it right there. Here, here's what's crazy about that. Is to me, it sounded like it wrapped up and around the building like that. Because yeah. I heard it down low. Like I thought yeah. it sounded like a gurney or someone being dragged to the crematorium. And then I heard it kind of go up and around all the way up to like on top of us. Exact. Yes, exactly. Me too. What? But did, you heard the female voice before all yes, that started? Yes. It was, yes. It sounded like a woman said something right I know. here. And, and that's where it started. started. Wrong. 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 Holy shit. The last question I asked was, was it the people here that were sacrificing them? Or did you feel like, you, and I never got to ask. So you felt like you were sacrificed. For, for a buck, for a profit. Oh, this is dying really fast. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I, it's fading, look, the whole screen's fading right now. Can you give us one more answer, please? Wait, 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 Log file not assigned coat. Coat, coat, doctor, lab coat, doctor. Coat? So this is a doctor? I guess so, it's, so, okay, so. Are we speaking to a doctor? Barrel? Barrel? I think it says barrel. No, it's gone, oh, wait, wait, wait. It's, it's all going away, it's all, oh, dude. Oh, it's gone, that's it, it's done. Oh, and then barrel. Coat, barrel. Log file not found. If all the, like, everything asking was, were you just buying more water, buying more water uh -huh. for a profit, it wasn't helping you. Uh -huh. And we asked who it was that was doing it, coat, which is a good way of saying. Doctor. Doctor. Yeah. And they were bringing it in by the barrel. Maybe. And then it's off. Whoa. I want to know what that female voice was right next to us. But you're right. It sounded like something was being either pushed or dragged around the entire building and then it was like coming up and then it was on top of us. The peak. But you can't get any higher. And also, no, you can't, that's the roof. And yeah. even if we go out these windows, that's just the roof. But it's crazy that happened and then it crushed the obelisk. And we, it's only been on for 15 minutes and normally like two hours is when we're like, all right, Maybe, but 15 minutes in, it turned it off. Also, I just realized I have IR flashlights too for next time. Like just infrared, we can't see it, but these cameras will get lit up. I can't tell you how much I love this vest right now. Oh, the flashlight just fell apart. It like just broke in half. I don't even know where it went. What? Dude, look. Yeah, look, the flashlight, look. Dude, it like took a, okay. This is actually super weird. How is that possible? What? Look. Look. Both of those unscrewed. What? How is that possible? What? Two parts of the flashlight unscrewed and just fell off. Yeah, what? And look, it's even designed to spin with it. I have no idea. Now it's making me think that we just like really overlooked that bottle cap when we walked in. Because oh. the bottle cap happened, we kind of just went, all right, we just walked in, we, don't, we didn't look at the ground. Yeah. But now I'm wondering, Yeah. it still works. Yeah, but what, 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 is, what, is, what is the point of the bottle cap and this being unscrewed? What is the... I wonder if we scared them. Oh. I wonder if someone was like there and they just... Yeah. But unscrewing like, this, that's something fucking with us. It was also right after I said I could change out a different flashlight, we'd be able to see him better. Did you? I said we can get an IR flashlight next time and then we'd be You able to did! See him. And then that unscrews itself. Like, look, I, I'm, not, I'm not getting over the fact that something just swirled its way up here. Mm -hmm. Like, we audibly heard that yeah. go from the ground, yeah. not around the building, like someone walking or being dragged, swirl up and it landed on the roof. Yeah. Birds don't sound like metal dragging on asphalt. No, no. It sounded, it, dude, I mean like kind of a weird way to put it, but it kind of sounded as if like a body was being dragged. What is that with someone coming up here to like give us a message? 
You mean like what if that was like a spirit? What if that was a spirit? Because that, that all happened. The ovulus, the final message, like... Yeah. Or it was someone coming up here to stop. I mean, didn't the ovulus die right after that happened? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We were starting to get answers. So something... Like something came up here and like shut it down. Let's, I let's, believe that. Let's do one EVP session. Okay. Make sure. Give another opportunity. Yeah. See what happens. I like how quiet it is. There's no power in the building. It's kind of a grass whisper. You don't think? No, I hear that. Chip, 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 chip. I'm talking about that. It's getting louder. You hear it? I hear the grasshoppers. It's not the grasshoppers. There's no power in this building. Look, everything's disconnected. It's all disconnected. Everything is off. This is Nazareth Hospital. We are on the top floor, the seventh floor, by the elevator shaft. Are you a doctor? Do you regret lying to patients? When you as a doctor knew there was no truth to the cure of the water. Did you believe that the mineral water would save the people here? Who is walking on the stairs below us? Can you tell us who they are? Who's waiting for us downstairs? Ending. Dude, I heard a <clears throat> boom, boom. There is someone in the building. Stop. And this is concrete. Stop. To hear footsteps in a concrete building, like, I know. That's impressive. Dude, what? I don't know if I like this place. When did you turn off, Mr. Camera? That camera turned off? When did you turn off Mr. Camera? Did it? When did you turn off Mr. Camera? What? How? No shot. When did you turn off Mr. Camera? Is that what the two footsteps were? Was it two? It went. <gasps> no, I would die, bro. I mean, didn't the ovulus die right after that happened? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We were starting to get answers. So something like something came up here and like shut it down. Here's the craziest part. If any of these body cameras turn off, I see it. You see the red little blinky light? Yeah. I would see it if any of these turn off. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's actually like off off. It didn't even stop recording. It actually straight up turned it off. Wow. Huh. It still has half a battery. Still has plenty of card space. Still here, top floor, Nazareth Hospital. Did you work with the church?
you said church and we heard like a serpent hissing on the ledge of the building. What? You oh. know I brought the drill, right? Yeah. I could take that off. So we could look right now. What the fuck was that? Why did you just hiss? Do you not like to hear the word God? Can you tell us what your name is? We know that you're here. Your intelligence, you can communicate. We want to be able to speak whoever else might be in this building. Can you follow us in this building? If you can, and if you will, can you say, ha ha, ending. Did we get, if we get a ha ha, also, yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? It sounds like a serpent, like a snake. Just went, <laughs> right now we are directly below the cross in the building. Oh my God. The cross in the building is right here. Dead center, yeah, dead center of the building right here. And it sounded like, oh, and that would be the spiraling too. Oh. The spiraling coming up to the top of the building. Yeah. We never heard that during an investigation. And the fact that it's only me and you in here makes this so much scarier, dog. <laughs> Wait, that came at the same time as the hissing. That was the same time as the hissing. That was it. No. That was the hissing. No. Wait, wait. I'm going all the way back to the beginning. That was the hissing. This is insane. This is actually insane. Why did it do that to my voice? That's you talking? That was me saying, you know I brought the drill, right? I could unscrew these windows right now and go in and like... Why did you just hit? Why did it do that to my voice? I have no idea. Ready? Listen. What the fuck is happening? We heard hissing. The hissing is picked up on that as screaming and talking. You said to say ha ha, it ends with ha ha. 
as you're talking about undrilling that we could possibly undrill this, it changes your voice to like a, you know, I can undrill this, right? That is not how you said that. Why the fuck would we hear hissing loud as hell and it gets picked up on there as like a demonic voice talking and then screaming? That's what I'm trying to wrap my head around of like the physics, the science, the whatever you want to think about it. We heard on these, these devices mm -hmm. that are traditional police grade body cameras with just better microphones in it, mm -hmm. that are probably going to hear 100% exactly what we heard, which is a I am. And trying. then we have this device. Yeah. That's able to hear different frequencies. Mm -hmm. oh. Something else. Like, was, were we actually able to literally hear them pushing their message, their sound, through? You get what I'm saying? Wait, so are you saying that what we, like, like a, a demon trying to speak, yes. what we heard is that? Snake tongues. Yeah, snake tongues. But it got pushed through to actually translate through our device. Yes. What the fuck? Yes. Because if not, we would have heard the same thing on this uh -huh. as we did in real life. We All of these would have heard But we know this has been able to catch Help Me, uh -huh. See Papa. Uh -huh. Like, we, we've caught wild EVPs on this. But how did it just translate? How did it just, is, is it a, a frequency thing? Like, in, in, in what the humans can hear frequency wise, we heard it as hissing. But what's scaring me is how insane of activity we just got in this tiny little room. And with how big the rest of this place is, it's kind of starting to freak me out. That was my theory though. Yes, my was. theory was the smaller the area, the more concentrated it would be. Yep. And it literally sounded like something wrapped its way up here. And then the hissing outside and the cross is right there. Um, the, here's the crazy thing is like there isn't too much like documentation on this place. Like no one really knows what happened. It was a fucking madhouse yeah. in this entire city. Yeah. Just swarms of people coming here dying. It's fucking insane. I'm sorry. I'm just still freaking out that our device just translated a demon snake talking. That doesn't fucking happen. That has never happened. When have we ever recorded something that we heard clear as day? And then it's translated differently. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Never. I am going to be so mad if that hissing isn't on our cameras. There's no way it's not. It has to be. There's just no fucking way it's not on. It's just it's fucking impossible it's not on those cameras. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. That, that, that would mean something got in both of our heads at the exact same time. If it's not on these fucking cameras, that means something got in both of our fucking heads, made us both look right here, and all go, what the fuck are we listening to right now? It, ha it has to be on these cameras. If it's not, I will go crazy. That's what they did here. Crazy yeah. water. Yep. Okay. I guess we should go down. Do you want to go all the way to the morgue? See if there's anything there. See if they would like to follow us. Mm. Bring everyone to the middle. Follow us down. Ha uh ha. -huh. Dude, what the fuck was the noises that we heard in general? Oh, that was weird. What? That was so weird. What? Oh, that was so weird. What? All right, my screens are off, so it's not like it's my eyes fucking with me. Uh-huh. I swear I just saw someone standing in that fucking window. No, you didn't. That, it, like, made me stop straight up in my tracks. Like, I was like, is there someone outside the window? Dude, that literally fucked me up. What? As if like floating? No, like literally how you're standing, opposite side of the window. Like that, but the other side. I swear I saw someone just standing like right here, just like looking out the window. Okay, that's terrifying. We should probably keep going. Getting stuff on the tools makes sense. Like we're used to that. But the shit that we're hearing, all of the footsteps, all of the bangs, all of the talking, the woman talking behind us, the dragging around the building, the snake hissing. Like, is, is, is this place just pure evil? You know what I'm saying? Like, this was a hospital and it was supposed to be like a church or something as well. 
Why is it so? Why why do we just get so much demonic activity? You wanna get the SLS? The, it's it's the biggest, widest open area. Yeah. Let's go. There. I wanna look out here just to make sure that like. No, there's there's no one here, dude. Ooh, headache. Uh, headache. Oh, that's so weird. I got to the door and immediately got a headache. Oh, that really? was that sucked. Are you good? Yep. Just gnarly ass fucking headache. The second I got, dude, I leaned into that door. Dude. Ow. It sounds like he's fucking with you. Motherfucker. Uh, he probably thought you were about to leave. Yeah, dude, that one, that hurt. That was like a sharp pain that felt like boom and boom, like right, right here. Like a migraine. Yeah, yeah. just right here. Like as I leaned out to look out, it just ah. He doesn't want us to leave. Oh, that's actually really bizarre. That is. Wait, very... that's actually really bizarre. I almost get like a headache. No. Actually, I'm okay. That's freaking me out a lot. Actually? Yeah, that's really weird. Like, it's make, uh, yeah, it's really weird. Do like, it again? Like, it, it, it feels like there's like an energy, like tripwire. Stop. Like, it feels like when I go through it, it feels like a fucking laser is being shot through my head. That's so weird. Dude, that's really weird. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not fucking with you. That's really fucking weird. Yes, that is very fucking weird. That's very fucking weird, dog. Yeah, dude, it's like right there. What? It's like right there and I just feel it in my head. I don't like that. That's very that's very strange. That's very weird. I've gotten headaches before, I've gotten nostrils before, I've thrown up before. But that feels like there's some kind of weird like spiritual laser trip wire. Dude, oh dude. my holy fucking balls. No, what? think about that. What the fuck what? did I do when I was standing at that door when I was fucking with you? Ha 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 And what did you say? I'm not gonna know if you're possessed or not. Stop. And that's also right when the bottle cap happened. Stop. And then upstairs, and we heard it go from what? Down, all the way the fuck up. Is that not what I did, right? Wasn't I right here? And I was like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. And the fucking camera was like set up over there or some oh bullshit, right? My. And I was fucking right here. And I was like, we're not leaving. You can't leave, ha, 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 ha. And here they are up there going, ha, 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 ha. I understand that was incredibly disrespectful. That was your first impression of me, of us, it was us walking in here and laughing, genuinely would like to talk to you and hear what happened, whatever your story is on either side. It's been two years since anyone's investigated here and oh my God. first one's in. Yeah. You know, the only people that come in here are to board up windows. Mm -hmm. And then first one's in to investigate. Let's get the SLS, let's, let's go downstairs. Let's flick it on the side and then turn on. Power buttons somewhere. Power buttons up here. How does it turn it off? Uh, I don't know. Dude, if it drained this and we didn't even get to use it, I don't know. Yeah, the brick, the brick is full. This worked two hours ago. Hundred percent battery. Yeah, no, this was a hundred percent on when we were in the truck because I tested everything. Yeah, this is done. Done. <laughs> this is this is my least favorite thing about ghost hunting. Is yeah. this, is this stuff. This uh -huh. is my least favorite thing. Yes. Because it makes it seem like we don't know what we're doing and we're incompetent, when in reality, this worked. Yes. This has power. This is 100% power. Yep. It's not that. It crushed this. Oh it's... my God. Think about this. Remember I left it outside though? Yeah. What if it just drained it all then? Yeah. Watch my truck not start when we go to leave. Yeah, this, is, this is done, 100% done. Dude, that's... <sighs> that's annoying as fuck. And this is why we bring every tool so that way, even if all shit fails, we always have some one other thing, one other thing, one other thing. I also would like to add that right before we shot the intro, we're standing outside on this property and I was literally saying how excited I am to use the SLS in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> it drains it? That's a bummer. Watch that have been the device. You know what's, what's unfortunate about that? What? Is all the videos that I was sent by past investigators here were SLS videos. No. They said they have phenomenal luck. Of course. Catching people on, on the SLS. Pause real quick. Genuinely. Everyone knows I talk about this all the time. I read every comment. I really do. It's probably a bit of a problem. I want to know your honest thoughts on just Corey and I investigating. 
But in future videos, genuinely, I'd love to know. Do you like this? Take a moment, if you wouldn't mind, let me know your thoughts because if you're willing to leave a comment then I know you genuinely care. If you like just Corey and I and you don't want to comment, just leave a like. I'll be able to tell the difference between, right? Yeah. Videos normal. It smells like sage. That's what it smells like, not a fire. It smells like sage. So, it smells like sage, mm -hmm. which is meant to cleanse or help spirits pass yeah. or put them at ease here what the f is going on <laughs> dude it sounds like to me which I, I i never thought this would be possible but literally what you're saying the spirits i guess down here are burning sage to prevent themselves from the demonic activity or demons that are on the floors above them because i don't think there's anything evil down here but I know that there's something evil on the top, top floor. It reeks of sage right here. Yeah. It's still here. And now my teeth are hurting. Your teeth are hurting? Yup. Really? Yup. Oh, dude, it's this room that reeks of sage. Are you okay? Yeah, just my jaw now hurts. Smell this room. Oh yeah. What if like all the spirits come into this room and burn sage and then whatever is evil can't enter this room so it's just out in the halls? You know, like yeah. maybe this is where all the good people are. Let's find out. Where do you want, what room do you want this to go in? <sighs> Honestly, what? I love having a body camera because that means I would have just caught whatever I just saw. What do you think you saw? That better be a fucking critter. You got a light? Yeah. No, it wasn't that. It was right here. I was there. I saw it right here. No. Not possible. Not possible. How big was it? Wait, oh. was it a ball? No. What I saw was this. What? What? Dude, something's messing with you. And I was standing there. Yeah. And no matter what, what I see, this is, if my chest is pointed that way, I see uh -huh. it. But I just saw really quickly. The person that we told to follow us upstairs. If you are with us now, can we kindly ask you to wait upstairs for just a moment? We're, We're not sure, sure if anyone down here might, might be afraid, afraid of you. And we'd, we'd like, like to speak to, to them, them if we can. can. I did. Dude, it sounds like there's actual people. Might be afraid of you. We'd like to speak to them if we can. I did. It, it, it can't. We walked the whole thing. Every door is sealed. Every single door is sealed. We know that. There's no way in here. That was footsteps and talking. Dude, I'm kind of. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of. I feel like I'm gonna throw up but just because I'm like scared. Do I need to get a pipe or something? Look, the door is completely boarded up, man. I'm telling you, there's no way in here. Yeah. Dude, that was, that was like one of the most clear things I've heard all night, though, dog. Yeah. That I was heard it. footsteps and talking in the staircase. Like, I kind of feel sick to my stomach, I'm not gonna lie. Look, here, you want a weapon? Grab a pipe. There you go. That's a good idea. It's all you. Take it. 
And my teeth are hurting again. Really? Yep. This is gonna sound so weird. Huh. See, that the only way it doesn't fucking hurt my jaw is if I hold my jaw like this. If I hold my mouth like this, it doesn't hurt, but if I drop my jaw down, the pain went from here to here. Are you serious? Yeah. It's like, it, literally this right here feels fine. Are you okay? It, this doesn't hurt at all, but when I do that normally, it really just makes me want to clench my jaw so tight right now. I'm like trying to figure out like where the pain's coming from. Yeah. Cause it really, it really hurts like way to fuck back here. Like in my jaw. Did you say anything? Did you say anything really bad earlier? Oh, uh, I feel so good when I write down on my finger. Really? Oh, uh, cause it's putting fresh on it. doesn't hurt that bad right now. It's so, it's so interesting cause we haven't had any like the physical devices go off. I know. But we've like been able to hear, which is so much more incredible. But I would, I would love to be able to get confirmation on one of these. Hey, can you please do me a favor? If you are messing with Elton, can you just touch this box one time and make it go off? Just to confirm that you're the one. Oh my God. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It wants to talk to you, but not me. It's been set up for a total of well over an hour. Amazing, thank you. Thank you so much. You can keep hurting my jaw, I don't care, thank you. Thank you for asking, cause I fucking sound insane and my jaw hurts so much. Are you making Elton feel that pain? Because that's the pain that you felt? Are you still punishing me for ha ha, for laughing? Is that why you're going after my jaw? Cause it hurts now to talk? I mean, I wonder how strict they were here. Break the rules, get a mouthful of soap. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Again, it's my f it really hurts. I'm yeah. genuinely getting very annoyed right now. Uh, just being honest, when something like this happens, you're supposed to go outside because this is actually it attaching to you. Uh, and you think after all these years of me saying, you can't do that, you can't do that, I'm gonna break my own rule? Uh uh. Stay in here, that was the rule. And you're still hurting? Mm hmm. It's still hurt. It didn't get worse, but it's still, it's a very annoying pain. Like, I will say, like, it, it's not pleasant. I know we didn't get off to a good start. Can you do me a favor? There's no way to prove that what I'm feeling is what I'm feeling. Can you confirm it? This box in the middle of the room has not gone off all night. Can you please confirm that you are the one doing this so I don't seem fucking crazy in crazy town? To whoever is communicating with us down here, we would really like to keep talking to you or talk to anyone. We've set up a few devices on the floor and if you touch them or put your energy into them, they will either light up different colors or they will make a noise. So if there is a boy. Wow, right there. A boy a on boy. cue in the doorway. If there is a girl down here as well trying to talk to us, can you make one of the devices go off? Whoa. Are you kids? Can you make the device go off? Hey, is someone in here? Like actual people? We don't care if you are. We just want to know so we don't like run into each other, do anything stupid. Not people. Okay. Okay. All right, so for the fifth time, we are officially saying there's no people in here. We got it. It's you. We're sorry. We're scared. I'm sure you understand that feeling. Do you want us to go upstairs? <laughs> oh, I just realized I said to whoever said, follow us, can you wait upstairs while we talk to people down here? That's right. Can you tell us what floor? EVP, maybe? This floor? So they can, 
was that you think that's what it's saying <laughs> both let's do both okay no matter what we're staying here if we do an evp session okay nazareth hospital basement which floor do you want us to go to do you want us to stay here do you want us on the second floor the lobby is that your way of telling us to leave to the boy and girl we were just talking with can you tell us your names? We'll be able to hear you. This is still the same person that's been messing with us, messing with me all night. Can you give me your signature laugh? Ha ha. Floor that's going off continually though now. It's 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 kind of cool though because this has happened in investigations before when we've played back EVPs and the devices have went off. Mm -hmm. You know, as if that was us asking in real time. You okay? Yep. Pain's moving lower. Yay. Lower to where? It's here now. Really? Mm -hmm. Something wants us to stay here, but then also something wants us to go upstairs. Is that right? If you want us to go upstairs, can you light up the ball in the doorway? Reminder to mark that clip 20 seconds ago. What the fuck just happened right here? I'm, I'm either losing my fucking mind. What did you see? Hold your flashlight like this. Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. It's not on my fucking mind. Thank you. I appreciate it. Not on my mind. What I just saw was like you were holding it like this, and I saw a fucking like lightning bolt of it like just zzz, 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 almost like something went zzz, and like pulled the straight up zzz, zzz, and that's the same light that broke earlier what yeah i literally just saw like a zzz, 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 and like not in a movement that you would have moved it's uh, the, the capital's going off like crazy it literally looked like zzz, 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 and i just saw it fucking just zzz, zzz, out of the light it's exactly what it is but i walked joke. in and pretended to get possessed and what the fuck's happening Oh. Everything like crazy, dude. It's because we joked about you being possessed. We joked about me being possessed and walking. It was just a it was just a joke. And I'm sorry. I apologize before. Oh. I'm saying it now. I am sorry. I came here with good intentions to talk to you and hear your stories. Yeah. I really, really did. I want to know what happened here. I want to know how you feel. I want to know if there's any way to help. Okay? Is that your way of accepting my apology? Also what you're doing? Working, because it's a hundred percent convinced me that you're here. Yeah. Without any shadow of a doubt, I believe that you are here and you're communicating with us and you're making yourself very well known. Was that you pulling the battery, the energy out of this light? Oh, I saw an orb fall. I just saw like a white ball just fall right in front of me. Okay, it's a hundred percent saying to go upstairs. Okay. Is that okay? Can we go upstairs? That is exactly what we said we do. We come down here, we go up there. It could be the same person waiting. Yeah, I could. So what if you went up to six and five, walked around, invited everyone, K2, uh -huh. I go two and, right, I guess two and three, yeah. and then we meet at four, okay. spirit box. Sixth floor. Oh, my heart is racing. In a couple minutes, we're going to the fourth floor and we're gonna have a device that'll let you talk to us, okay? I'm very sorry for what has happened to you here. I'm very sorry to everyone that came here and that was sick and was hoping to be saved. I'm sorry. 
But if you want to talk to us in a couple minutes, we'll meet you on floor four. We mean no disrespect. Floor number five. If anyone on floor number five wants to talk with us and try to explain their story, we'll be going to floor number four. Wow, man. This place is just incredible. This place is huge, dude. God, this place is massive. I'm gonna record a single clip from right here all the way up to the fourth floor. I actually would like to leave this building. I, I, I feel very, very not great. My ribs hurt right now. Nazareth Hospital, I'm alone. We're on the second floor at the entrance. Here we go, last section. I feel not great right here. I don't know why, but I don't like how I feel right here. What is that? Okay. Ah, uh, my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna die. This does not feel great. I don't like this. 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 Motherfucker. Who's doing this? Ah, you son of a bitch, dude. Why? Is it just fun for you? Is this vengeance? Do I look like police to you? Or an official? Or is this just funny? Is this just ha ha? Are you doing to me exactly what I was doing to my friend Corey when I walked in? And I'm going to end the recorder because I'm going to walk into Corey any moment now. Ending the recorder. You hurt. You sad. You angry. Is it just fun for you? Is it vengeance? Payback? Is it the, is it the, the, the jacket I'm wearing? Does it look like police to you? Or official? Are you just bored? Or is it just funny? Is this just ha ha? Are you doing to me exactly what I've been doing to my friend Corey when I walked in? Walking. Holy crap, dog. It was ha ha? It was ha ha. And I will say, I think maybe 20 more minutes, and I think I, gotta, I, think I actually need to step out because I'm gonna, I actually passed out. Actually? I'm like, I'm like very, very close. I'm fighting it right now. Like I feel extremely uncomfortable. It is what it is, but I'm fighting it right now. Really? I feel I'd like to like be like in fresh air in like, okay. 20 minutes if I can. Okay. I'm, I'm, yeah. It's it's weird because it was headache. Uh huh. Jaw's fine now. Uh huh. Went to ribs. Yeah. Now it's right here in the abdomen. Right. So like this is not digestive. Uh huh. But you go head, jaw, chest, ribs, and stomach. If it was, See. This is what's scaring me. Cause I feel like now if it goes lower and lower, like I don't know if this is a thing, but it sounds like it's like trying to possess you and it's making its way through your body. I feel 100% clear mentally. Mm -hmm. I feel 100% clear. The okay. pain is like pushing its way down. It was worse here, hor like really not great here, annoying, manageable, mm -hmm. but I'm at a point where like, you know what I mean? Like. Okay. Well, when we leave here, you actually have to say you don't have permission to follow me. <laughs> we can pray. I'll say it for the first time ever. Yeah. How many years investigating? I will listen to you and I will say it. Thank you. What do you think? Do you think we should ask questions or just see if the conversation strikes? I would love for both, Loki. All right. I've asked before. Can you please tell me who it is that's been mocking me all night? Doctor. Did you say doctor? Doctor. Wow. 
Doctor what? What's your last name, Doctor? You know it would make sense. To get a headache, jaw pain, chest pain. Uh -huh. A doctor would easily be able to figure that out. Yep. I want you. I want you? I heard, I want you. Is this your hospital? And you felt like I disrespected it and you. You say, yeah? You say, yeah. We didn't mean any disrespect coming in here. Genuinely, I am sorry for upsetting you. Can you please forgive me? Can we leave here tonight as friends? So I think I'm tapped out. To the boy and girl that we talked to downstairs, can you tell us your names before we leave? Red? You heard Fred? Are you feeling okay? I'm tired now. Yeah? It's getting lower. Are you done talking to us? Going back. Yeah, yeah going yeah. back. I feel like an old man right now. Really? I feel like I'm like 80 years old. Just like, ugh. Is it still messing with you? I, I don't know. I just feel like exhausted right now. You know, like sometimes you wake up in the morning, you're, like, you're just like, I'm not going to get out of bed. You're mm -hmm. just like, you just feel like, ugh. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel right now. Like I've gotten hit really hard where I just get nauseous, but this is like, gradually taking over and like the more I it's like it's almost like every time I fight it mm -hmm. it moves to a different place like when I figure out how to like bite on my finger it like moved it to a different place and like my headache I like rubbed my temples and it moved it lower and then my ribs like and then it moved it again where do you feel it now right now I just feel exhausted like it's still every part of my body still hurts a little bit mm -hmm. but now I just feel tired but you know what I mean like had we left we wouldn't have got that. To me, like, that, to me, that's honestly one of, like, because it affected me, right? That might have been the coolest paranormal thing I've ever experienced. Really? Because of the box, like, it, like, I felt, like, fucking terrible. I know. And to me, it's like, okay, I don't know. Am I just getting sick? Is this weird? Is it coincidence? Is it mental? Yeah. But the device that was set up in the attic the entire time, it was set up down there the entire time. Mm hmm I have this theory that I pissed him off. Mm-hmm. You ask the question, yeah. it confirms it. Well, it thanks makes it, for being a trooper and sacrificing your health <laughs> for investigation <laughs> evidence. It, it does make me wonder, what, we, what would we have captured with the SLS? Would you have been able to catch something on the SLS? Yeah. Doing that, yeah. and doing that, yeah. and doing that. You know, it's funny, huh. we never used the drill. <laughs> oh my god. There's still the crematorium left that we didn't see. Yeah. I'm gonna say you it. say it whenever you're outside the building or out. Alright, fine. Fine. You can say no, say no, it right no, there. I'm gonna say it here. Okay. Hey man. Doc. Let's call it here. Well played. Good job. I get your point. I'm sorry. Lesson learned. Won't happen again. I respect you. I appreciate you. It was super cool talking to you. Please stop poking me. You're gonna stay here. It's gonna happen. Because if you don't, if you try and follow me, I will go to a doctor and we'll find you in my body and we'll extract you. And then neither of us will be happy. Thank you for communicating with us tonight. Hopefully we'll be back one day to talk with you more, but you must stay here and you do not have permission to follow us. Fresh air feels nice. Good job. Good job. Is it actually like really obvious what happened tonight? Yeah. Wait, no, no, like all the all the way through. We walk in, 
into this hospital. We don't say hello when we walk in. We just barge in. We're just like, oh, we'll just film it, explore it, learn it. We didn't even think anything, right? We weren't investigating then, yeah. so we didn't really think about it as like we're entering someone's hospital. Yeah. We make all these jokes. We fuck around. We go all the way upstairs. We go upstairs. We start investigating. We start getting answers from someone that sounds like they were like the victim mm -hmm. to the crazy water, and then all of a sudden we hear this crazy fucking swirling come upstairs and then it shuts down the ovulus, yep. stops all the activity, we hear the crazy hissing noise. Yep. Was it like, not only do we piss them off down here when we walked in, but then we started going upstairs and like getting answers and talking to patients and like, this person was like, I'm gonna shut it down, I'm gonna get you the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like I almost wonder if that's what it was. It was like a doctor up here who was like, no, you know what I mean, trying to stop them from yeah. sharing their answers. Because that's what it was starting to say. It was starting to say like sacrifice and then it died and, mm -hmm. We asked why they were drinking the water, and it said for strength, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I, I don't know. I feel like the doctor is something evil. Yeah, I could I could be completely wrong. It could be a good doctor that was just you know, thinking that we're just two random people breaking in, being disrespectful. But I, I truly believe that that was something evil. That was the doctor. Yeah. And it's just the hissing before all of that. Yeah. And that we even heard like a woman talking. Dude, the amount of voices and footsteps that we heard tonight. And me and you were the only people in there. Yeah. I Dude, I was waiting to run into somebody. I, I was, know. I was convinced. I, I picked up the pipe. It was real. I was yeah. like... You're like, oh, like, I, I really picked up the pipe because I was like, all right, you're, you're, they're trying real hard to sneak up on us. And like, I'm not okay with it. So and then the cap all confirmed that it wasn't a real person. It was yeah. them. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you. No, it's fine. Like it's it's fine. I can't believe you pushed through it. Yeah, I mean whatever. That's. I w I would be so disappointed with myself if I didn't. You know, that's what I was like. I think 20 more minutes and then I'm probably gonna get pretty close to like the danger point. Yeah. Do you feel better now? Yeah. The, the one question I one thing I wish we found out is um. I want to know what the doctor or whatever, whoever it is, whatever it is, what decade. Mm. Because, like, mm -hmm. this place was open for a really long stretch of time. About 100 years it's been open. Yeah. Partly during Crazy Water Era, mm -hmm. Great Depression, World War II, right? Like, beyond World War II into the 1960s when it shut down. Yeah. So it's like... I don't, I don't even know. I mean, I'm assuming it has to do with the water because that's what we were asking these questions upstairs. But so we kind of just assumed it was 1920s, 1930s. But yeah, that would have been cool to like confirm it. Yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, I, I think we both just kind of assumed because we got the answers about the water right up top. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what's what's his name? Is is this uh, is this the home of Doctor Ha Ha? Yeah, Doctor. I mean, dude, if people start investigating here and yeah. they're, they're getting, what's your name? It's like, Dr. Ha Ha. Could you imagine? He might, yeah, he might enjoy it. He might enjoy being known as Mr. Ha Ha. Yeah. Dr. Fred Ha Ha. The hissing noise was actually, literally, I was not wrong. That's the center window and it came from the cross. That's really where it was. Like, I, I, thought, I thought that was it, but that's 100% where the noise came from. All right, that's uh, that's definitely something demonic. You know, it's the the weirdest part about this. Huh. I chose Nazareth Hospital first because I thought this would be the less scary one, as opposed to Norwood, which is the hospital we're doing tomorrow night. Norwood still has everything still in it: operation tables, surgical equipment. Everything is still in Norwood. And I knew this one didn't have much left in it because they turned it into a haunted house. That's Nazareth. And Norwood is right over there on the corner. This, this, I have a weird feeling that in two years from now, if they allowed it, this could end up being like one of the most haunted cities in America. Yeah. If, if they actually like... Because of Baker? If they kind of acknowledged it. With Baker and Crazy Wild, I don't, I don't know if they want to acknowledge it, but if they did... And I was not expecting this, bro. Either. Like, yeah, I've never even heard of this place. Yeah. And we don't get evidence it, like that. Yeah. 